Didn't sleep last night, my mind was somewhere else And I tried not to wake you up from dreaming How do I tell you Good morning everybody, it is Tuesday today and I thought I'd start my vlog today. So we have a lovely day planned actually. It's going to be quite a busy week in the old household. I feel like there's slightly less vlogs this week. However, I am gonna do like a weekendy vlog. So it's gonna be fine. But basically it's quite a busy week because next week we are both going to Toronto to Canada for the Gymshark pop-up and we kind of fly out for the week. So I'm kind of rushing about getting work done, getting filming done, playing my blue bell and pop, having some time with them before we go. Yes, just thought I'd update you on that. I don't even know why that's relevant to this video, but <laughs> it's a busy week. But today we actually do have quite a nice day that's less work related. Yesterday me and I were both very busy so I feel like we need this today. So I am going to head off to the gym very soon. Today do you know what? Do you know what? Yesterday I had probably the worst workout I've had in a very long time. Like it was literally awful and every exercise I was doing, every set I was doing, I just was wishing I wasn't there and I just was not in it at all. Worst leg session of my life. <laughs> so today I think what I'm going to do, I'm feeling like I want to really challenge myself. I think I need to push it. So I think I might do like full body I'm not entirely sure yet I'm gonna write something out after just before I go but I'm thinking possibly full body although I am aching slightly which I don't understand because it was such a bad workout and I'm thinking possibly doing some kind of like circuit with battle ropes basically I was watching Becca's video this this morning it inspired me Becca you inspire me she is just a muscular strong woman and she inspires me to be a better fitness gal so <laughs> I think I might do something with battle ropes something like big big and circuity like that but probably weights as well we'll see we'll see so I'm gonna bring you along to that but just thought I'd say good morning and I also want to tell you because I keep looking at my nails but I had my nails done yesterday and how freaking cute are these I am obsessed I saw some like this on Instagram and I was like, you know what? Treat yourself Toronto stars. That's what we need in our lives. I was tempted to get pumpkins and hedgehogs, but I thought I'd keep it nice and subtle for now. I may possibly, when we get back from Toronto, get like autumn Halloween nails, possibly. There is some that I like actually. Let me quickly show you. I saw these, I can't even remember where I saw these nails, but they are very, very cute. I just don't know if that's a little bit too much. However, it is October now, so it's okay. But look at these. What did I see them on? Some random nail account. Look at them. Look at that little pumpkin in the corner with loads of leaves. Loving it. And also I have put leaves around my house as you would have seen to start this video. We have some leaves. I just feel like they're fake by the way. <laughs> but I just feel like it's a nice little spice up. When I decorated the house I felt like there was something missing especially in this room. I actually don't think Niall has even noticed that I've done it yet because he was still in bed but I just wanted something a tiny bit extra and I feel like it's quite nice to have that in the background of like sit downy vlogs anyway. So yeah, I'm loving it. I just bought the leaves off Amazon. I mean, I would like to use real leaves, but they would just rot and go crispy within like a day. So we've got fake ones and I think it's just a nice little touch. I don't think I'll be doing any more autumnal decorating now though, because we've got enough, haven't we, Blue? She agrees. <laughs> Although actually today's video is gonna be quite seasonal I'm not gonna lie <laughs> it's quite a seasonal day plan basically I have persuaded Niall to come with me to pick some pumpkins so we're going to a pumpkin farm well actually I don't think it's specifically a pumpkin farm it's just a, like a pick your own farm which is quite nice I think we might do some other picking as well because I think they have lots of crops not like just fruit they've got a lot and they've got a garden center there so I'm thinking I might have a little peek see if they've got any Halloween-y vibes. Unfortunately though, this little one can't come because they don't allow dogs on pick your own patches, which I kind of understand because it's hygiene, but a bit sad. I wanted to take her and then take her for a little walk around the area because we're gonna drive kind of out of London. So we're gonna have a little road trip, pick some pumpkins, gonna be great. Are you excited, Blue? Oh, she's not coming. <laughs> Why did I say that? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna go and see if Niall has noticed these leaves. Hang on. Let's have a see if he's even paid any attention to my life. To my decorating life. Niall, have you noticed anything different with the house this morning? <laughs> oh, 
my god. What? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I told you he didn't even know. Those leaves. Well, it's quite easy to miss that. Yeah, it's subtle. See, it's like a little subtle extra hint of autumn in the house. What do you reckon? Yeah, when did you put those up? <laughs> this morning when you were asleep. Because I, that's something I was going to chat to you about, is my new body clock weekend scheduling. Why are you giving me that look? <laughs> Like you're a liar. You sound like a lazy slob. No, I'm not going to talk about you. <laughs> yes, I like it. I think it's cute. I've done it in the office as well. It's a nice little spice, don't you think? Pumpkin spice and everything nice. Nice little spice. Yeah, spice, yeah. It's spiced up my morning. <laughs> Good. You didn't even notice. Also, what I was just going to quickly chat to you about while we were on that topic. Basically, as Niall said, he was in bed and I have started to change up my do you know what? I'm feeling so much like more content and just happy in general because I mentioned this already but I've been continuing like scheduling weekends as weekends for about two years I don't think I ever really fully made a weekend a weekend where I you know fully rested and did things that weren't work related on the weekends and I've been doing that more I'm loving it this weekend I will be doing some work on the weekend because I am cramming in before Toronto the other thing I was going to quickly tell you actually on the topic of Toronto next week there will only be two uploads not three so usually I upload Tuesday Thursday and Sunday but next week because I just can't quite film that much cram cram into this week as well as drive to Wales and take the pets and drop them my mums and everything so we're just having two videos next week but I promise they'll be good ones probably be long and there's gonna be a let me just tell you next week we're gonna, we're gonna have a boyfriend buys my winter outfits which I'm very excited about because me and Niall have done two of those kind of videos before and they're always quite funny and I feel like it might be really interesting with wintery vibes. Winter Halloween is what I told him. I gave him that brief. <laughs> and then I am going to be vlogging my weekend. And I think I'm going to go and surprise my grandma. I was going to visit her now that I can drive myself. Because she lives kind of in the middle of nowhere in Wales. <laughs> and I'm going to go to my mum's. And yeah, we're just going to like preparing for Canada kind of vibe. So that will be next week. And then yeah there's only two but then we'll be back to usual hopefully the week after if not the week after that but yes as i was saying other than weekends i also have been getting up earlier and i'm loving it i feel like if you if you're struggling like fitting everything in a day which i really was and i i was kind of wasting mornings i feel like set your alarm half an hour or an hour earlier and it has made such a world of difference to me i get so much more done first thing like the leaves <laughs> niall didn't even know it happened that niall didn't have that part of his day i've never been an early bird we've chatted about this before i would love to be but i'm not but i am trying to start it because i'm scheduling my work days better my weekends i feel like i really want that work schedule so like nine to five working and then it means that I'll be able to go to bed a little bit earlier because I still go to bed quite late. That's the problem. I can't get up early. But if you are the same, set your alarm 30 minutes earlier. An hour is what I've done. And I'm loving it. I might even go an hour and a half soon. I might be a 6 a.m. soon. We never know. Maybe by Christmas. Maybe by Vlogmas. We'll have to see. Anyway, I better stop blabbing. This is a very long clip. And I don't know how an intro always turns into such a long clip. But before I go to the gym, there is one more thing I very quickly want to show you. Because it arrived. And I'm excited. And it's also very seasonal. So this is a seasonal video. The next few videos, well, away from buys my winter outfits. But preparing for Canada vlog won't be seasonal, I promise. To the people that don't like autumn, I apologize. Oh my gosh, Bluebell, this is for you. <laughs> I'm so excited. What is this? You can't wear it yet, but we'll try it on to make sure that it fits. Ghostbusters. That's what this is. Bluebell's Ghostbusters. This is gonna be Bluebell on Halloween. I'm just gonna check it fits. She's not wearing it more than a few seconds, but we're gonna check it fits. Bluebell, are you gonna be a Ghostbuster? I think it will fit you. How does, oh, she's got a little back hand, Niall. Oh, this is so cute. 
Poppy also has a bat headband thing with a little jingly pumpkin. But she is back out and about. Actually, that's a good point. I didn't give you a pop date. Poppy is much better. She's not swollen and she seems back to her sass pot self. She is back out and about in the day. We don't let her out in the night. The only thing that's still an issue is her eye still won't close. So only the kind of filter lid underneath closes when she goes to sleep. So she blinks with one eye. It's a bit weird and um, I'm really hoping that the nerve comes back because I think it was nerve damage in her jaw or her ear. But the vet thinks that it's going to come back, we're going to keep an eye on it, but I don't think it's a massive issue because she has the the lid, so her eyes are still kind of lubricated, they're not really dry, but she has her eye drops in case. But I'll show you her later because she's having a little morning walk. <laughs> she actually has a morning walk now, Niall. Oh, good morning guys, I'm just going off for my morning stroll. <laughs> <laughs> Because of what I'm feeling, feeling And that love <laughs> Oh, you look so cute! Oh, look how cute you look! You'll go bust the blue! gym and I just figured I actually didn't tell you about this set. Now you may have seen this set already on some people's Instagrams, on some Gymshark gals Instagrams and things like that, but this is a new set coming soon. It's the Energy Seamless and it's in a dusky pink. Apparently it is dusky, not dusty, but I like to say dusty pink. But it is my absolute favourite Energy Seamless they have ever done. And that's a big one to say. I mean, I loved the purple wash last winter. This one is my favourite. And if you can see, it has a slight upgrade on the old bra. Look at that. Look at that strap. And then, look at this strap. And you can actually move these straps around, I think. I have no idea what you can see right now. <laughs> but, all we can see now, there we go. And then, the leggings are quite similar. The only difference, what did I notice the other day? There's like little dots here, so that's a new thing. What else is different? I do find that they sit slightly, this could be wrong. I don't wear the Energy Seamless that often, but I feel like they are a teeny bit less high-waisted. So a little bit of a nicer sit. I don't know, just me? I don't know. But they are squat-proof and sweat-proof, and I literally love them. However, I don't know a release date yet. As soon as I'll, I know, I will probably announce it on my Instagram. But I am obsessed. Like, this colour is my favourite colour. One of them, anyway. One of my favourite colours to wear on the skin. It's just very flattering. I love it. And there is actually another colour 
Let me give you a quick show. There is one other colour of this energy seamless. I think only one. I've only got one. And it's kind of, let's find it. So basically I got this package the other day. There's a whole new flex range coming. However, I got them all in an extra small and I'm not an extra small, I'm a small. So I need to get the extra small so I can show you them on. But there is a lovely, lovely pink. Look at that pink. And then it's got kind of like a dark band, which I think is cool. And th this purple as well, new shorts. The flex shorts are my absolute favorite shorts, gym shorts ever known, ever worn, ever seen. <laughs> and then this, where is it? So I haven't actually worn many of them yet because I only got them the other day, but this is the other color. And apparently it's a charcoal lavender, I think that's what it said. Slate lavender, that's the one. So it's kind of like, let me get out a bit more. It's kind of gray with a touch of purple, but it's looking rather nice. It's very winter-esque. I mean, I am more for the brighter colors, but this is kind of like more of a, if you're not into a big color. Also, this dusky pink is different to the Vital Seamless dusky pink. Let's quickly compare and then I do need to get on. Get ready, have some food, have a shower, get the hair washed, go to find some pumpkins. <laughs> so this, let's find quickly. This in here is the Vital Seamless and Dusky Pink. And I also still don't know the release of this one. But this is the difference, so they're very different. I love them both, they have different spaces in my heart. I actually think I do prefer this one though, because I just love this sports bra. I love strappy sports bras, I'm a strappy sports bra gal. But yeah, that's the difference, because a couple of people have asked on my Instagram, that's the difference. Quick one as well, I realized that my workout was not kind of what I explained it was gonna be. But you know that happens sometimes. I was too hungry to do like a battle rope circuit. And also it was very busy, very busy in the gym today. So, you know, that's what we did. But anyway, I am going to eat some salmon, cuddle bluebell, shower, wash my hair, curl it, probably. <laughs> and see you in the car. Excited to pick pumpkins. I love how your face went smiley because you noticed the camera was on. <laughs> I, I am be, happy about this. I don't want to come across as a grumpy old kid. So, we are about to leave to go to the pumpkin farm. We're going to a place called Garson's and it's kind of like Surrey area. Garson's Farm Garden Centre. So we're going to have a look in the garden centre after a 40 minute drive. Look Where at the it? pumpkins in the picture. Look at those pumpkins. Look at them. I want a big one. Are we gonna get one each? More than one. My heart is a little bit broken to leave Bluebell behind though. It literally breaks my heart to shut that door. Yeah. <laughs> Her little face, she thought she was going on a walk. Decided to go for quite a curly hair today as well. I'm feeling very Lizzie McGuire. Did you ever watch Lizzie McGuire when you were little? Uh, no, because <laughs> I'm a boy. How sexist, there's boys in Lizzie McGuire. Who was the guy, what was his name? Uh, what was his name? The girl was Miranda, and the guy was like a little geeky guy with curly hair. Gordo, that was his name, Gordo, it just came to me. It's so weird that the brain does that. Yeah. Like your brain is why and it can remember things like that back in the brain, far back there, there was Gordo. So me and Nal have started the process of looking for a house in the country, and I'm excited. And we did find like our dream place just trying to work out whether there's point in looking yet because we're not looking to move for quite a while but it's lovely isn't it? It's a dream. It's a dream and if we could get the timings right it could be a possibility but I don't know if it, it will get the right timing with our current flat and everything but it's exciting and when we start like hunting and seeing places I'm gonna bring you along and get vlogging on the old house hunt. It's gonna be like the biggest, one of the biggest things in our lives that's happened, so it's gonna be exciting. Game. I don't want you to be crying tears of pain Even though it feels like I'm close to you But still so far away I kiss you But not in the...
we have arrived. It looks very, it actually looks really big, which I'm really glad about. We did actually pass a big box of pumpkins, but we're gonna go and pick our own, aren't we? I'm really hoping we didn't have to bring something to pick with, because we don't have any form of a knife, but it'll be all right, we'll have to borrow. So, we're gonna go pick a pumpkin, are you excited? Do you have to pay? You have to pay for your pumpkin after. Where's the excitement? Niall napped on the way here after <laughs> the time lapse ended, so he's half asleep. But I'm gonna wake him up now with a pumpkin. Actually, do you know this? I think this is meant to be quite big. You could pick some vegetables for your Instagram videos. There's lots of different ones here. <laughs> he's half asleep. So we have arrived to the pumpkin pick your own. I'm so excited. We literally just drove around loads of crop fields. The only thing I'm concerned about is how I'm gonna pick the pumpkin off the stem. Unless they're loose, those ones there look loose. This is so exciting. I wish Bluebell could be here to experience, but unfortunately, I want that one. Look at that. Oh, they're just loose. How are they just loose? This is so cool, Niall. I'm gonna get loads. Hello. Yeah, decorate the house. Look at that baby. Look at all of these pumpkins. This, do you know what? These pumpkins here just literally look perfect. Like, I feel like supermarket pumpkins look rubbish. Look at how, look at the orange on that one. I don't know if it's because it's getting the golden hour glow. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. What, take a picture again? No, that face. Though you had you had a smize. Oh what? You did one of those serious smize. <laughs> look at that, look at that. No, this this pumpkin is looking rather wonderful. I'm so grateful for Buttercup right now though, you know, because it means I can carry home a lot of pumpkins. I just hope that they'll last until Halloween. I think as long as I don't cut into them, I'll be all right. They're still taking pictures with pumpkins. Pumpkins are in the boot. So we, we decided to go for six, a few big ones, and then I picked like two or three kind of smaller ones. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use them as decoration. I kind of want to put them outside our front door, but I feel like they might get stolen in London. So not sure yet, but we're gonna go pay. How was your pumpkin picking? It was good. It wasn't really picking, it was like... Yeah, it was weird because like picking I... them up. <laughs> yeah. They were all unhooked from their stems. I thought we would have to cut them out, so... It's not picking, it's Maybe taking Maybe they think that people aren't field. gonna bring their... Knife. Their, uh, their knife. Yeah. True. Anyway... I shall see you in the garden centre. Hopefully for decor. <laughs> that rhymed. Right, we are heading in. And as we drove past... I did see some form of a leafy archway entrance, which means it looks like autumn in there. I'm hoping for a candle, maybe a bit of decor. Not sure yet, let's see. Look, 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 there's an autumn arch, there's an autumn arch. Look at the autumn arch. Love it. Oh my gosh, they have a whole Christmas section. Now, I really want these this year. I actually want to make my own. How nice is that? You put a candle in it. The candle's a bit small for that one. Love it. How it just smells like Christmas. <gasps> pine cones. I've already got my pine cones, but there's pine cones here. I really want to put this on my dining table. <laughs> I was not happy I heard a sigh. <laughs> that was a big sigh. I love it. I'm actually not looking for Christmas stuff right now, though. Since when did you become such an old fart? <laughs> There is an entire Christmas quarter. I don't like this kind of colour in though, do you? I want our house to have like a colourful... White. These are quite cute. Cute little decoration. This colour scheme's nice, don't you think? It's the same, it's just got a different wall. No, there's green, there's wood, it's earthy. I love this. I can't, I'm actually might buy this. Looks lovely, look there's stars, there's pine cones. I'm going to get one of these, I think. Oh my god, how cute are these little things? I'm not exactly sure what you do with them. I think they're just little models. But they remind me of like Disneyland or is it Disneyland? They have that like small world. No, not small world, that's a ride. But um, they, where is it? Is it Legoland? I can't remember. They look so cute, but I will have no use, so I'm going to leave. Good evening, everybody. It's now quite a few hours later. 
and I'm back in my pajamas and the little starry ones. These are from Primark, by the way. They were last year though, so I don't know if they have them this year. A few people have asked when I've worn them, so just so you know. We are back from our pumpkin outing. We have our pumpkins in the house. I haven't decided where I'm gonna put what yet. I think Niall's also gonna use some for cooking as well, which will be nice. Possibly pumpkin soup, possibly pumpkin cake, possibly a pumpkin spice muffin. Hopefully all of them, we shall see. But I just thought I'd quickly as well show you a few bits that I picked up from the garden centre there. I didn't end up going for the Christmas garlands because I just felt like it's a little bit early. I'm not sure where I want things and I'm just going to go back there when I want to do a Christmas shop. However, there was one thing I did pick up which I just couldn't resist. <laughs> It's a little hedgehog Christmas decoration and I'm loving him. He's fluffy, he's wonderful. He's joined the family, he's gonna be on the Christmas tree. The other few things that I picked up were this pumpkin latte reed diffuser. I'm very excited. It smells absolutely glorious and I feel like I I have a lot of candles but I should, I should get a few more reed diffusers because sometimes it's nice in the day to just have a diffuser, not a candle all the time. But I did also get a candle, so. This is a baked apple, and it smells absolutely lovely. It's like fresh, but cozy. It's it's such a good creation. Also, I picked up this little dog toy for Blue because I felt bad that she couldn't come to the garden center. She's got a little butterfly, and she's already loving her, so it's a good day. Right, my pasta is on the boil and I just thought I'd come in here and kind of have a little chat to finish off the video. I feel like I'm feeling a little bit tired now. I feel like my brain's not functioning right. So I think it's probably best if I leave the vlog here. But I really hope you enjoyed and I am very excited for next few weeks, the next few things in the old life. I feel like there's lots of exciting things coming. We've got Toronto next week. I'm so excited to meet people, give her and I've never seen Canada. I am very excited about that. I hope that I can have a pumpkin spice latte or a pumpkin spice drink of some sort. Apparently in Canada, they're really nice. If you are coming to the Gymshark pop-up shop on the 13th and the 14th, I will be there on the morning of the Saturday and the afternoon of the Sunday. I'll pop the exact times on screen because I can't remember them off by heart, but Yes, very excited. Me and Niall will be there. We'll be hugging about, we'll be vlogging about. Niall will be vlogging about for me probably. And I'm also very excited for our kind of beginning of our house hunt. We've been, basically, we've talked about this for a very long time. Do you know what? I, I actually remember talking about the fact that we were going to move to the country last Vlogmas, so almost a year ago now. And it's always been in our plans, but we never really knew where to begin because we've never bought a house. We've always rented. So it's extremely exciting for us. And I feel so grateful that we are in the position where we can start to look. And yeah, I'm very, very excited for the future. And I'm very excited to bring you along. We wouldn't be in the position we are if it wasn't for people like you who are watching this video, who support us and Bluebell and Pop. We're all forever grateful and appreciate everybody so much. I feel like I should tell you more how much I appreciate everything and your kind comments and just taking the time to have a little watch, you know. You guys are the greatest people. But I am so excited to bring you along in the process. We could be having a viewage of a houseage very soon. Obviously this house is like our dream and I know it's very unlikely that it will work out how we want it to but you know it's all a process and it's good that we're starting. We've been saying for so long that we wanted to start this process but we never really bit the bullet but we bit the bullet and I'm excited. It's the one thing that I dream about. Living in the country, having a family and you know just I don't know why, it's just something that I absolutely would love to do. Lots of exciting things. So, also, something very exciting, my secret project, I will be able to tell you more about soon. I'm going to, something is happening tomorrow, and it could mean that I'll be able to tell you more sooner than I thought. That's what I'm gonna say, or my manager's gonna be annoyed at me, so. 
Anyway, thank you so much if you watched this video and I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm probably repeating myself, but I will hopefully see you in the next video. What's the next video gonna be? Next video is gonna be boyfriend buys my winter outfits. Gonna be good, promise. Make sure you're there.